Welcome back to a brand new episode of the Yuria podcast. I am your host, Elle Edwards, and we're on season five, where as a reminder, we're doing things a little bit differently. We're going to have short daily episodes where I'm going to be reading to you from the Yuria book in celebration of the Yuria book's birthday. My real heart for this series is to help you over the next I don't know, five or six weeks, by the time we finish, you will be without any doubt that you can hear from God, that you can ask him questions, expecting an answer. All of this leading into September the 20th, when we launch the live version of the UEA Games. And I will tell you more about that over the course of the next few weeks, I'm sure. But for today, let's get cracking. Now, this chapter is called First Things First. And this is very specifically for anybody who's listening who doesn't yet walk in relationship with Jesus. And this was something that was added in by Holy Spirit when we added in the prophetic foreword. Are you ready? Let's get started. As you explore Yuya, you plus intentional expectant relationship. If Holy Spirit nudges you about the relationship piece and you've never had a conversation with God about Jesus, this chapter is for you. And it is the most important thing you will hear today. And no, I don't say that lightly. Jesus is the good news, the free gift from God to all of humanity, including you. And it is because of what Jesus did 2,000 years ago, his birth, death and resurrection, that I come to you today a transformed person. I'm not perfect, life's a journey, but ever since Jesus moved into my life, things have never been the same. And that same power of the free loved gift from heaven is available to you right now. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 tells us, If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. It really is as simple as saying thank you for the gift, receiving and opening it. There are no hoops to jump through and... Despite the church's fixation on the sinner's prayer, there isn't a set of specific magic words to say. It can start with a simple, hello God, thank you for sending Jesus. This is ultimately about recognising that you were born for relationship, that your tendency to do things wrong that you inherited from Adam gets in the way of that relationship, but that Jesus came to put things right. We say thank you to Jesus. We say sorry for the times we mess up. And we invite God back into the place he created for us, for him to reside. You were born to do day-to-day life with God. You, yeah. All of that said, if, if you'd like some words to help you get started, pray along with me. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to make a way back into life with you. I'm sorry for the things I've done wrong. Please come and live inside of me. I want to be fully alive, fully human, in relationship with you. I believe you lived, died and came back to life again, just for me. I receive the free gift of salvation and invite you to do life with me. Help me now as I begin to walk this out. Send people into my life who can support and encourage me forward. Thank you for your never-ending, everlasting love. Amen. If you prayed that prayer along with me today, congratulations on making the best decision. You are now part of a huge family and I'm excited for everything you get to explore with God. The things we'll be considering in this book will help you explore this new relationship, but it's important that you don't try and play on your own. I would, of course, invite you to come and join us in the Blue House via uria.com forward slash join. And I can help connect you with other Jesus friends in your local area. But remember, you have Holy Spirit helping you too. And if you haven't already done so, now would be a great time to ask him your first question. And whilst I was reading from the book there, in all seriousness, if you did pray that prayer along with me for the first time, it's really important that you get connected with other people who love Jesus. And so if you want some help with that, send me an email, l at uia.com. That's l-e-l at uia.com. Let me know that you prayed that prayer for the first time and let's help find uh, a good, solid group of believers who love Jesus. And like I say, if you want some help, come and join us in the Blue House. I'm excited for this journey we're going to go on together. 
the next episode coming out tomorrow we're going to be digging into the introduction until then though if you know somebody who would benefit from this episode please do share it with them don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode and i shall see you there take care bye bye